Smiley faces. Hi, Valder. Hi, Valder. Good morning. Who do I have on the line? This is Dog and Beth, with one G, Dog is. And Beth is common spelling. <laughs> Beth. I got you guys. I used to watch your old show, but I want to let my audience know that I have Dwayne Dog Chapman and his wife, Beth Chapman, today. And they've got a new show on CMT called Dog and Beth on the Hunt. Thank you guys for joining us. You're welcome. Thanks thank for you. having us. Thank you. Oh, you for have such a us. soft voice, Beth. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Only I today. like your voice. <laughs> <laughs> well, before we jump into your new show, I got a question for you guys. You guys do this for a living. We got a serious manhunt going on in Boston. I don't know if you know about that. What would you add to that to to catch the current perpetrators? They've I'm so glad you asked that question. <laughs> well, are you ready? Are I'm you ready. ready, Valor. Okay, my recommendations. They were they were allegedly trying to rob a 7-Eleven. It looks like that plan was spoiled. So the remaining fugitive is probably going to rob another store. He's got to to get money. They hijacked a car. That plan was foiled. So he's going to go after cars. I would call in that Boston area if you have fr any friend to make sure he hasn't, you know, I think he's broken into a house taken like a couple or somebody as hostage and is waiting again for nightfall to move. He's 19 years old. So I would call everybody I know in the area, make sure everything's okay, talk to him for a few minutes, see if you get a signal. I would stay indoors or at least on the porch in that area and let this guy come out where the cops can get him. I would circulate his picture everywhere all the time. His height, his weight, you know, uh, look at how he walks, holds his shoulders. Within hours, they could get this guy if we if everybody just you know works together. Well, they're Our really smart there because they asked everybody to turn their cell phones off so that they could make sure that whatever signal comes out is only from the guy. And the other smart thing that they're doing is they're going door to door and they're searching almost every house in the area. So they are very you know they're really on top of what they should be doing already. So you know we can only offer information as a spectator, but you know of course we'd like to be right there in the streets going door to door with them but you know it's a very serious situation so we have to let them do it it is and that's great advice I, I, that, that's the best outside advice that I've heard in order to make this happen you guys do this for a living Beth I want to ask you how is it putting your life on the line people watch you they laugh at the show sometimes you guys do funny stuff but this is really serious work that you do yeah, it is really serious work. You know, uh, it. You just never know. You know, you just don't know who you're who you're going after or how desperate they are. Only they know how desperate they are. You know, as with the the guy there in Boston. You know, he knew he was was uh, the bomber. He knew when he went into the Seven Eleven. You know that he if he was going to rob it, he had to really, you know, fight it out. When they came out and the and the security guard confronted, he had to shoot him. There was no. You know what I mean? There's. Geez, there's just things that they know that you don't know, and so it makes them a lot more desperate and a lot more dangerous. And so we just try to block a lot of that stuff out of our mind and just go out and do the job. And we try to be so fast and stealth that they don't really have time to think of those things by the time we catch them. Dwayne, when you guys go out, one of the things is, uh, I've, over the years I've watched your show, you have a spiritual component to it. I'm not going to say religious, but you've got a spiritual component to it. How do you mix the two, catching the bad guys and thanking Jesus? <laughs> well, you know, I, my language is is uh, terrible, not very good. But my pastor Tim Story said I should say I'm working on it, and I really am. Uh, I just believe that there is a greater power, and His name is God. And I am a Gentile, so enabled to get to be able to get through to God. God gave me His Son named Jesus, and you know, I as the older I get, the more I have evidence that there there is a Jesus and a God. So, my mother believed in that. My father, and the mother before her. So I'm just following in a Gentile tradition. That's a great answer, Beth. Let me ask you: Your family's involved. I don't know if the kids are still involved in this. Once again, I'm going back to you know, everything that's dear to you is 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 put on the line every day. You know, uh, we go to our regular do jobs at the mill, at the store, or something like that, and we don't feel like that. 
what do you do to uh, um, bring safety and calmness to your family? How do you, how do you, <laughs> how do you calm them and say, you know, this is just a job, we'll be fine, it'll work out? How do you do that? Uh, there's a lot of yelling. <laughs> I was going to say, she's crazy. Have you seen the show? <laughs> well, well it's, we took some of the danger out of it because Dwayne Lee and Lisa are not there anymore. It's just Leland, and Leland is highly trained. We don't have to worry about him. So it took some of the stress factor out when, you know, some of the children dropped off of the show. So uh, that helped. But, you know, this is a 24-hour day, seven-day-a-week job. It runs every single day of the year, whether there's a holiday or not. People are always wanted. They're always running. They're always in peril. And so, you know, I think I've just learned over the years to deal with the, the stress and to just, you know, keep it to a dull roar most of the time, right? And, you know, we try to take uh, family time when, when we can get it and try to just shut off the phones and not deal with it. But that's the really the only way that you can deal with it. You know, we were, we're you know, we have a calling on us right now. And these people who are following us are like, you know, this is our ministry. So it can't close. It has to be open all the time. What a powerful statement. Dwayne, when do you want us to watch you on CMT, your new show, Dog and Beth on the Hunt? When do you want us to watch? We're on every, every Sunday single night. Sunday night, uh, 7 or 8 o'clock, prime time. And let, Valor, well, let me tell you, we're out across, instead of Hawaii and Colorado all the time, we're now going to 47 states in America and catching bad guys, and we're helping train the different bail companies on how to, we're polishing them up. I mean, a lot of them are trained or they wouldn't be in business, but we're just putting a fine shine on them and teaching them how to stay alive. Two, well, I'm from New Orleans. Y'all need to really go down there and help those well, people. We're coming to New Orleans in July. We're coming, <laughs> yes, ma'am. They need help, I'm telling you. It's a high crime city. Yeah. So I want to thank you guys for what you do. Everybody has their own calling. This is such a unique calling. I love the way Beth said it. This is such a unique calling. But thank you guys for what you do and how you do it. Thank you, Thank Delta. you, ma'am. You're very polite. I love you. you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Yeah.